Hi, Shelby. It's Stephanie. I'm your speech language pathologist. Open your eyes if you can hear me. Can you hear me, Shelby? Shelby, squeeze my hand if you can hear me. Shelby, open your eyes if you can hear me. Hi, Shelby. It's Stephanie from Speech Language Pathology. Can you hear me? Open your eyes if you can hear me. Hi, Shelby. It's Stephanie, the speech language pathologist. How are you today? I see your eyes are opening a little bit. That's good. Are you able to squeeze my hand a little bit? Oh, that was a nice little squeeze. All right, Shelby, now I'm going to ask you some questions, and I want you to respond yes or no. And if you, or if you can't say yes or no, I want you to shake or nod your head yes and shake your head no. Okay? Is your name Shelby? Yes, it is. Um, are the lights turned on? Hi, Shelby. Are you okay today? They're, they're trying to kill me. Call 911. They're trying to kill me. They're trying to kill me. Call 911. You're in the hospital, Shelby. Call 911. They're trying to kill me. Shelby, you're in the hospital. Call 911. We're here to help you. You're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. They're trying to kill me here. It's going to be okay, Shelby. You're going to be okay. We're here to help you. Hi, Shelby. How are you today? Who are you? I'm Stephanie. I'm the speech language pathologist. Who's been working with you? Wait, where am I? You're in the hospital, Shelby. Do you know why you're here? No. You had a bad accident, and but you've been doing a lot better. We're just still working on some things to try to get you back to how you were. Today we're going to try something a little new. Look over here, Shelby. Do you know what this is? Look over here, Shelby. Do you know what this is? Yeah. What is it? This is a toothbrush. Can you show me what you do with it? That's close. We don't brush our hair with it, but we brush our teeth with it. Like this. Hi, Shelby. How are you today? I'm good. Do you remember who I am? Mm-hmm. I'm Stephanie from Speech. Yeah, I remember you. Okay, and do you know why you're here? I was in a car accident. You were in a car accident, and you're doing a lot better, though. Um, today we're going to be working on a few um, things in therapy. Okay. First, I just want to ask you, do you know uh, what time it is? Um, 2 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. That's okay. Um, do you know the day of the week? Wednesday. You're really close. It's actually Friday. Okay. Um, do you know the month and the year? Um, April 2006. 16. Great. That's awesome. All right. And now I'm going to show you a couple objects. Okay. And I just want you to point to the cup for me. Good. All right. All right. And recently I've been working on brushing your teeth. Mm -hmm. And before you needed um, quite a lot of assistance, but now you're getting, a, you're being more independent. I just want you to um, show me again how you brush your teeth and the steps you need to do to do that. Uh, okay. Okay, I'll help yeah. you get out of bed. Okay. A little bit. Got it? Yep. All right. Okay. 
Great job, Shelby. Okay, Shelby, today we're going to make a peanut butter sandwich. And I just want you to start doing things like you would do at home on a regular routine. Um, just so when you get out of here, you can go home and just, you know, live your life as normal as possible and as best you can. Okay. Okay, so you can just right. do it step by step. Take your time. Okay. Let me know if you need help. Alright. So first, I need bread. Good. But I don't know how to open it. Take your time. Right there. Okay. Probably twist that a little bit. Whoops. That worked. <laughs> Another bag in here or something. Mm -hmm. Great job, Shelby. There you go. Thanks. I'm trying my best. <laughs> and how are you feeling overall? Like, how are you feeling that you're doing right now? Um, I think I'm doing pretty well. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think I'm ready to go back to school. You think so? I think so. Um, I don't know if you're ready quite yet to go back to school, but I think you know you're making a lot of progress and you're really doing well so far. So I think um, you know, not quite yet, but you're definitely you know, in the right direction. I think you should be, be able to go back to school in the near future. Okay. Which is good. All right. And I think I'm all done. Good. Great job. Remembering my schedule. If anything comes up that I have to go to, I can't. I remember it that, that second, and then right. the day goes by, and I can't remember what I have to do. Right. Well, that's normal, given the fact um, that you did have such a big accident. Um, yeah, you're doing so well. So frustrating. Yeah, but you're really doing really well, and I just want to um, today teach you some strategies to keep you um, really organized so that this doesn't happen, so that you okay. can refer back to, a, like, a planner is so crucial. Mm -hmm. You can put all that you need to do in a day in your planner. Okay, just to help you step by step, okay, first I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to go this place, just to keep yourself organized. Okay. Um, it'll really help you, I think. Yeah, that'll probably help. Yeah, so I have a list of your doctor's appointments um, okay. for the next couple weeks. All right. So we can start putting them in. Okay. And then eventually, too, um, I also have your um, your class schedule, because I know mm -hmm. soon you want to get back to school. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, we can start putting your class schedule in your planner just to kind of help you remember what where you're going for classes each day okay all right so we'll start with the doctor's appointments okay okay so I see on um, Monday morning okay. Monday morning okay. um, you have a doctor's appointment at 10 a.m. okay and then Friday the 24th you also have an appointment um, that's at 11 a.m. Oops, I messed up. That's okay. So when was it? A doc doctor's appointment. Yes. All right. What else do you have? Are there any other ones? I think I see one more. Okay. Um, you have one on um, the 31st. Okay. And that's at 9 a.m. So every morning when you wake up, just make sure to look at your planner to see um, if you have anything going on, like a doctor's appointment or anything mm -hmm. like that. Okay. Okay. Right. So now I have a list of your class schedule. Okay. So we can start putting in um, the dates and the times for those in your planner as well. Okay. And this will really help you once you start going back to school. Yeah, definitely. 